Are your kids spending so, so much time on the screen? Today, guys, we'll be talking ways or tips on how to limit TV or screen time for your kids. Instagram posts. This, 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 so this, 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 post, this, 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 so this, 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 this. My name is Zahava Jesse. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe like and share there are many negative all problems of our kids watching tv and some of these problems are like depression anxiety lack of sleep and today's guys and we'll be talking on ways on how to limit the, the kids screen time because man as we are struggling and i know i'm not alone many moms here are struggling or many families are struggling and i've come up with ways on how we can help each other on how we can limit our kids tv time too much screen time guys is not good it's not good for our kids and if you do your research most of the kids spend like nine hours in a day watching tv and today, guys, we'll be talking about those tips on how we can limit screen time. Because as, as, as I've said earlier, there are problems that come with too much watching of TV. And those tips, guys, number one is set an example. Once you spend so much time on your TV, on your phone, kids copy. Kids who are going to copy what we do. And if your child or your children or your kid sees you all the time you are on your phone they'll be staying in their phone if kazi yako ni kushinda uki watch tv why should they not watch tv so set a good example for your children in your home and that is our number one tip guys be an example don't spend too much time on your phone that you don't even have time for your family you don't even have time to bond with your own child they copy what we do. So the moment unashinda kwa TV the whole day, you, you can imagine unashinda kwa TV the whole day and you are here telling your son or your daughter or your kid, ati, mskua mna watch TV, TV in your eight time, TV in your eight time. Why else you, you are watching TV 24-7? How will that work for them? So you have to set a good example for your kids. Right? Number two tip, guys, is let TV be a privilege and not a light in your house. For example, you can you can be like TV can only be watched or when I can kind of phone or iPads or computers, any any connected device, once the homework is done, once the chores are done, and that one will work for you. See at killer time they are on TV. Set let it be a privilege, like see killer time one see right, see lazima or watch TV. So once the chores are done, once the homework is done, once like you've told them tidy up your room. And once you are done, you can have like 30 minutes to watch your TV. That one really works pretty well because you can limit the time they are watching TV. They even know like it's there is time for working and there is time for watching TV. So let it be a privilege and not a right for your child to watch TV all the time, all the day. And yeah, I hope you are together, guys. I hope you are all together. The other tip, guys, number three tip is encourage other activities. Okay, there are sometimes you feel tired. There are sometimes you don't even have time to play with your kid. But it's always good to play with your kid. Have time for them. See Killer Time TV. Have time for them so that they cannot spend so much time on TV. Let's have things like sport activity like they can ride bike, they can skate. Then you have other activity that they can do in the house. You can buy an instrument like piano, like Yani, let them be busy with other things and not only sitting down and watching TV. Udakwa zombie, my friend. This one has really affected us. To a point I had to do so many research because our daughter at a, at a for example TV, we are on YouTube and in and I could play the ad Anna Anna let her shida my friend. So we had to we as parents had to limit her screen time because and again going outside has really helped because she does not spend most of the time in the house. She can only come in the house like to sleep or 
she's spending most time outside so let them have other activities to do apart from only watching tv you can buy caroling books for them can they can have crayons and yani just have any other activities that, that they can do guys the other thing is put like tv and computers any connected device to a place that you can monitor a place where you can control it a place where you can see what your kids are watching most of us tunaika tv baka kwa room ya watoto so you cannot even monitor what they are watching is it good for them blah 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 so it's always good to put or instrument in one place where you can monitor wana watch ni what are they watching because as per this generation wanaweza kuwa wana watch vitu zingine baka wah watakushangaza so it's always good to put those devices like computer iPads or hizo vitu zingine to a place where you can it's always good it's always easy to monitor with a view the moment the, the moment unaona ana watch kitu yenye ifai utam control but akiwa uko bedroom maybe ako na simu ako na ipad anafanya vitu it might be hard but once the child is like 13 years you'll be very grand you'll be very grand sorry Uta, you did all you followed these tips to control these devices as for us we don't even encourage an ipad or a phone for our daughter because why should they have me at her age i didn't even know what a phone was why should her mbona ya kwe na why why make me understand why me we don't buy, we cannot buy our daughter iphone or not iphone ipad or could any any connected device we cannot we just have time for her we just hata simu nowadays we don't even use our phones in the house most of the time tuko tu tumeka we talk and that one has really helped because the moment i'm on uko na simu anataka kuona there is coco melon there there is Lulu kids there something she can watch kwa phone yako so it's always good to put those thing where you can monitor what they are watching like you can put them in the living area place unaweza watch see at wanaenda huko bedroom na masimu na ijui so akifika teenager ashajua everything even what she should not be knowing ashajua reason being ulimwachia simu reason being bona siku na simu i want to communicate with my child was first i'm outside we moms sometimes we feel but don't come for me these are the rules that i've kept in my house and they are really working pretty well so guys let's go to another tip another tip guys tip number five is set rules and follow them strictly like for example you can in you can come out to work on your kuba like they are going to school once the homework is done they can watch tv mm -hmm. some even say from five to six you know rules every house has their own rules people can say five to six is tv time or tv time can only be watched when people are watch are ha having dinner such rules just set rules and be consistent consistency is the key to everything once you 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 start putting the, these rules in your house you have to be very consistent because leo umeka rules watakula waki watch kokomelo kesho wa watch kokomelo how does it work so you have be, to be very 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 consistent set a rules for your house tv can only be watched at this time and at this time not tv time tv can only be watched for 30 minutes in a day or in the evening and that's it that is number 5 tip and before we continue guys let me give you a second to subscribe to this channel we are on the road to a thousand subscriber and thanks thanks for always coming to watch my video thanks for always coming to support what i'm doing and if you like this kind of a video why don't you give it a like down there and make sure you always turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you get notified mm -hmm. right guys let's go to number six number six guys is telling stories this can be an old tale but guys it really works it helps your child like she can concentrate on what you are saying you can improve her reasoning skill like she can okay mongelesha she can be like by the time by the way i need to listen by the way she needs to concentrate it's an old tale but it really works really well because she will forget or he will forget about the tv and now she will be knowing it's time to talk it's always even sometimes as a family to, to be talking and be telling stories how was your day how was your day 
how is this yani na share stories and by the time by the time by the time usiku inafika everybody is tired and it's time to sleep call kama ni usiku mnaka na hizo stories una notice mtoto hata shala na mkipiga story hata ajui tv iko on ama yuko on so that is another tip guys guys and i know this one is really hard 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 as for me i cannot survive without a tv there are some people who survive with a tv without a tv so that the kids can so, can concentrate on learning or they can because there are some kids who are addicted kwanza sisi our daughter has been addicted to tv to an extent you cannot hata kama hakuna stima you are like how will we survive today tuta survive aje but there was a time i was telling my husband by the time we need by the by the way we need to do away with this, this tv because kama hii tv ndio inatuma you cannot even have peace in the house like my husband cannot watch football my husband cannot watch formula 1 I cannot I cannot watch something on TV. Yani TV it has been only for our daughter for the past two years. Yeah, yani one year sorry. So I'm a kwaki watch TV but saizi we are trying and we are following the rules and uh, it's working for us although it's not easy. It's very hard. And guys, those are the only tips that I had for today. If there is any other tips you can add down there, just tell me down the comment and suggest any other video that you moms are struggling out there with. Maybe we can discuss or talk about it in this channel. Hapa kwa hii channel mle kuanga kujiachilia. Yaani we are here to share, to share and to learn. Right guys? That's it for today. See you next time. Bye bye.